Hey, come on! This direct was like 45 minutes long, and we now know why. At first, when I heard that, I was ranting about it to some people yesterday, but good lord, this was a 45 minute direct for whatever reason. Why? I thought there was no way that they would devote the entirety of it to Terry, but guess what? 99% of it was. However you felt about that direct, you gotta admit, there is a stupidly great amount of respect that went into this fighter's pass, seriously. Lordy Lord, I didn't know what I would be uploading today. I wanted to upload something the second I heard that there was a 45 minute Smash Direct. Uh, on Smash, you know, but but this, I, I didn't know like if there would be a reaction for me to do or discussion But I just feel like sharing my thoughts on this because Good lord. Let me just say if you're a King of Fighters fan this character pack is for you man And in no way can you doubt the amount of love and respect that was put into this pass for the Fatal Fury series man I would argue even in comparison to like Joker, Hero, and Banjo so far the three of them did not get anywhere near as much like love put into the pack as this one, in my opinion. Like, let me know if you're disagree, that's totally fine. This is all just my opinion. You see how many character models they made? They made 20 different character models for just the background. They brought in like, you know, oh, you didn't get this character, you didn't get this character? Well, guess what? They got a model in the background, you know? That's freaking cool. And every other Fire's Pass has done this in a sense, you know, had background characters. But 20? They made 20 different character models and not even just that. The most ridiculous thing about this pass is when he gave the story about how many tracks are included in it. 50 tracks that they wanted to send over to SNK and be like, hey, can we include like a few of these? They thought 10 or 20, but no, they're like, you could include all 50, buddy. Are you kidding me? 50 tracks, 50. There is no, I think maybe uh, Castlevania, you know, I think, I think they have like what, 20 at least? I don't know if there's any, Street Fighter, Street Fighter as well has a bunch as well, but does any other thing in here have 50? The love and craft put into this for not just Fatal Fury fans, but now SNK, because you now have music that spans across the entire SNK, you know, just, Publisher and there's Metal Slug. I wanted Metal Slug for the SNK character and I didn't get him But guess what? There's a spirit battle and there's music It reminds me of just the thing that's so great about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and that is Representation, you know, even if your character isn't in guess what that property is represented in some way Probably <laughs> and Terry as a character. Yes, Terry as a character there's a lot of love and crap put into this. Like clearly Sakurai did his research or is a fan. And you know, just like Ryu and Ken, it's I'm sure it's vastly appreciated from hardcore fighting game fans that Terry here has the directional commands, you know, to do the Hadouken command, to just hook things, you know, like that is really cool. I think that's a weird gimmick, you know, it's not my personal style of play. Like Terry is definitely not gonna be a character that's gonna be for me. But I would imagine like fighting game fans, I have a couple friends, one in particular, that's going to love this character potentially because of how authentically Terry feels like he is from his game, how he feels like he is a fighting game character. I'm pretty sure that music thing was the biggest like holy shit moment of this direct for me, but I gotta say, that stage is pretty freaking beautiful. I'm a sucker for stages, man. I'm a sucker for stages that have like this arena type thing, you know? I love Little Mac stage. Little Mac stage is my favorite and now this might become mine. And it's not, I'm really curious to see the Omega and Battlefield version of it, but even just like the standard version, you know? I love this idea that, hey, if you want a fighting game, this is the most fighting game like map. You know, you thought that would be the Street Fighter stage, but this is the one because there's actually walls. There is walls like a standard fighting game has so this pack is like the most justice you could possibly have done for like fighting game fans specifically yes you could have got Tekken or whatever represented it or Mortal Kombat you could have that but Terry here not only represents SNK so well with everything that's in the pack not only Fatal Fury especially Fatal Fury but this is like the hardcore fighting game character with this stage as well and the rest of this presentation was nothing else surprisingly this 45 minute presentation just focused on Terry 
Fatal Fury, SNK, and everything that comes with this pass. And granted, in my opinion, I thought it was a really silly decision to show Sakurai going through the whole classic mode for Terry, because personally, I feel like that's something I would want to, you know, save for myself and see what they throw at me. It also just takes a lot more time. But surprisingly, it didn't take much. You know, it took like maybe eight minutes away from the presentation. There was still over 30 minutes of just Terry, SNK, Fatal Fury. But the coolest thing, the coolest thing about 6.0 is the fact that apparently we will now be able to change the settings while in the arena, or at least the host can. Thank God, man, because that was the most annoying thing about arenas, in my opinion, is that you had to back out and completely remake it from the settings ground up to change everything, but now you can actually just change it while you're in the arena and you don't have to create a new one and set it all up again and get your friends to join, and, and if you're doing a live stream playing with viewers, change it, like, no, you can just change it right there, you're good to go. I appreciate that so much. I wish there was more, but that's an awesome one. I really thought this presentation was gonna end with like a, a powwow from our boy Sakurai saying like, hey, this is our plan about the coming DLC fighters, like just announcing, you know, like, hey, just like five or 10 minutes. This is how many fighters, fighters we'll have, blah, blah, blah. Or just give you like a little powwow, but we didn't even get that. So the question is, do you think, like, what do you think is gonna happen to the Game Awards, or do you think that we'll have that powwow anytime soon? Are you gonna be using Terry? Just share any thoughts you got in the comments, and if it's your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel, I would appreciate it. And if you want more and extra content, other than the videos down below, to which you should check out, vastly appreciate you supporting me on Patreon, where I had a full-on discussion about this yesterday, like, my hopes and dreams for it. We have more content on there that you can support the channel while getting it, so that's awesome. But thank you for watching, check out a video below, and Terry Bogart is here today. That was another thing I forgot to say. Terry Bogart's here today, so okay.